welcome back to Ashart Books. So today I thought I'd do a book tag. It's been a while since I've done a book tag and this one just seems like so much fun. So I'm gonna do the happy list book tag and I saw Avery over at Avery Loves Books do this a couple of days ago and I just really like the idea behind it. I mean, who couldn't use more happy? And basically it's a tag all about the happiness that comes through reading books and things like that. This tag was created by Katherine Lyle, so I'll make sure to link her video down below in her channel. So the first question is books you can always go back to and feel happy. And I have two for this. So the first one is the Luck series by Jennifer L. Armentrout. That one just so nostalgic. It was one of my favorite and still is. Um, kind of like paranormal romance -y YA series that I started reading like years ago. Um, a couple of my friends have also read it and it's just, I love that series. Like I've gone back and reread just like certain books in the series and it just make, gives me like such like a happy kind of nostalgic feeling when I read it. And the second one is Abby Glein's books, especially in the summertime. I love going back and reading her books. She again was one of the first more like um, like new adult authors that I read back in college I think it was when I started reading her books and I just love them. They're fun, they're fluffy, they're angsty and I just can't get enough of them so I always find myself like going back and they always put like a smile on my face. Question number two is your standums or your number one joy filled fandoms which I'm like I didn't know that was a thing. But anyways um, I feel like I'm not like super part of fandoms like hardcore anymore just as I've gotten older. But the one like series that I'd say I still really follow and I like all the kind of different parts of it is like the Shadowhunter series or Shadowhunter books. So Cassandra Clare books. That series I started reading back in high school and I read the books like as they came out, you know, in the Mortal Instrument series and I read all the spinoffs. I am behind on the last two books that came out, um, but overall I still love that series. Um, I'm really excited about the new series coming out and I love the TV show. So I feel like overall that's the one I probably have the most like, like heart in, I guess you'd say. Um, the only other one is The Vampire Diaries. I used to be obsessed with that show like, when it was airing and I'm currently doing a rewatch of The Vampire Diaries as well and it's just as good rewatching it as it was originally. Um, I'm not as big of a fan of the books for that, but I love the TV show, so maybe that too. Question number three is the type of book cover you will always pick up when you see it in a bookstore. And for this one, I have to go with the illustrated book cover. I know that's like the hot thing right now that a lot of like people are going with. I love them. I think they're beautiful. I think they're really artistic. Um, I also think that they're a way for a lot of people to pick up maybe romance books that they that would not have picked them up before because I think the illustrated covers are a bit more approachable than a lot of the um, like shirtless men covers. So yeah, I love the illustrated book cover. It's probably the one I always gravitate towards lately in the bookstore. Now question number four is a book trope that you love. So you guys probably know this already, but it's got to be hate to love for me. I feel like it just works. Anytime I see that in a synopsis, I'm pretty much gonna be guaranteed to at least enjoy it for the most part. Um, I love a good hate to love. There's a very fine line between love and hate and it makes for a really good book. The other one is forced proximity. I don't know if that's really a trope, but anytime two characters are kind of like forced to be together or they are like stuck in a house or something like that, I love that. It's my jam. It's good. <laughs> Question number five is an anticipated release that makes you happy when you think about it. So I feel like I'm not the best at keeping up with like books that are coming out. I add them to my Goodreads, but then I kind of forget about them until right around the time they're coming out. But one author that I do always know when their books are coming out is Lisa Kleypas. I love her books. She's a favorite and I definitely look forward to those. Um, I know Jennifer Armitrell has a new book coming out in the fall, I think. I'm really excited about that. Um, I'm trying to think anyone else who has a book coming out. Oh, K.A. Tucker's new book. I just read the synopsis for it, which I think it's coming out in August and it sounds phenomenal. So I'm really excited about that. And oh, Mia Sheridan, her new book's coming out in like a week and it sounds fabulous. So probably her. Question number six is an author whose full canon of books you love. So I feel like for this, there are so many authors, but I'll just like name a few. As previously stated, I love Jennifer L. Armentrout. I've read almost everything she has out and I love them all. Um, Julia Quinn, you guys know I love her. She's probably one of my top two historical authors, 
like everything I've read from her I've loved. It really hasn't been anything I haven't liked. Mia Sheridan's another author that I feel like I haven't read every single book from her, but every one I have read has been fantastic. And more recently, Lucy Parker. Um, she has, I think her only series out is her London Celebrity series. I'm not positive, I need to check on that, but I've read all of the books in that series and they there's four out and they're all phenomenal. I'm gonna talk about the most recent one in my new wrap up, um, but everything that she's written so far I've adored, so it's good. Question number seven is your coziest go-to like snack or drink while reading. Um, I'm not a huge like eater while I read, but I do like having a drink. <laughs> I always, I feel like the thing I have the most when reading is a tea or a coffee but I'm really bad at making, especially the coffee. I'll make the coffee, it'll look delicious, it'll set it next to me, and then I get so engrossed in my book, it just sits there and gets cold, and then I have to put it in the microwave. This happens like on repeat, so I'm not very good at actually drinking while reading, but I'd say coffee or tea is probably the one that I have the most often. Question number eight is a book you've shared, shared with family or friends. For this, I've got two. These are the two that I just think I've um, like pushed on all my family and friends the most, and that's Julia Quinn and Sarah Morgan. So for both of those, I think they're also really good spots to start for people maybe like dipping their toe into the romance world um, or just fantastic books in general. So both Sarah Morgan and Julia Quinn, I've recommended to at least a couple of different friends now and they've liked them. So I think they're good suggestions. Question number nine is a booktuber or a blogger whose content always brings you joy. There are a lot of people. I feel like I lately especially have really been trying to only subscribe to people who I do just absolutely love their content. So I feel like most of them bring me happiness. But a couple of that just like every time I see their videos come up in my inbox, I am just so excited and I pretty much go ahead and watch it like pretty right away when it comes out. First one is Mara from Books Like Whoa. I love her channel. I love watching her channel. I love like hearing anything she has to say about books. Honestly, even half the time, it's not even something I may personally want to read, but I still really love hearing her talk about it. She has really great recommendations and I just love her channel. She's got really different ideas for videos too, which I find um, really entertaining. Another person whose content I just adore is Avery from Avery Loves Books. I've talked about her before and I just think she's the sweetest person and I love her videos. She reads a lot of romance and I think we have pretty similar taste. So for her, I love watching her videos because I, I feel like if she likes a book, there's a pretty good chance I'm gonna like the book. Um, and I just love watching her. I feel like those two um, content creators, when I watch their stuff, it just puts me in the best mood. So love watching them. Question number 10 is name something about the content you create that you love. Um, I feel like the f I feel like the videos that I really enjoy doing the most lately are definitely like I love doing the trope videos. I just think those are so much fun. I love hearing about different trope recommendations from other people. So for me to put the list together was a lot of fun. And then any kind of recommendation videos, um, recommending like different types of books or romances are always fun. I think those have like the most interaction too with you guys. Um, and I just, that's my favorite part is getting to like recommend books and hopefully help someone find something new to read that they might love. So definitely any kind of recommendations um, or like the trope videos have been my favorite and I'd say they bring me happiness. <laughs> Alright guys, so that was the happy list book tag. I'm not going to tag anyone just because I'm awful at knowing who has done different tags and who hasn't. But if you like this video and you want to do the tag yourself, definitely do it. I think we can always use more happiness and spread more joy to other people. So I'd love to see your video if you do it as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.